Hello, everyone. Now, here's a scene for you to consider. A man was caught in a snow blizzard in Alaska. His truck left the road and he ended up a long way from the main highway. It was getting dark and it seemed pointless to walk through the snow to seek help. So he decided to await the morning light before taking any action. And when he woke up in the morning, his truck was completely frozen shut and covered in snow. It took six days before he was spotted and rescued. When he was rescued, he was asked what he did during those long six days. He replied with all seriousness, I did an awful lot of thinking and quite a bit of praying. I hope none of us will find ourselves in such extreme circumstances before we start thinking and praying. As Catholic Christians, however, we should reserve some quiet time each day for quiet contemplation. Maybe Jesus had this in mind <clears throat> when he said to the apostles, Come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest a while. Now, over the next few weeks, lots of people will spend time away with family and friends. Many will head abroad. Sad to say, most chase the sun and the sand more to indulge their bodies rather than refresh their souls. Today's psalm puts it like this. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit, not my drooping body. But those restful waters refer more to an inner stillness rather than an actual place. Jesus said in the Gospel, When you pray, go to your private room, shut the door and pray to your Father who is in that secret place. Now, our private room, our secret place, refers to time spent in quiet contemplation before God where I can open my innermost self to him rather than being in an actual place. Perhaps many people would not see this as all that important. Some might even regard it as a waste of time, just talking to myself. However, those same people might think nothing of frittering away precious hours before the telly each night without even a flicker of conscience. Even we priests can become so immersed in the work of the Lord that as St. John Paul II said, we forget the Lord of the work. A young priest once asked St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta how he might become a better priest. She said, you won't go far wrong if you spend some time each day in quiet contemplation before our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Activism, or being busy, is often seen by our generation as a commendable quality to have, but it may be little more than a smokescreen for our unwillingness to move beyond the material to the transcendent, that is, the divine. Pope Benedict bemoaned the fact that our age has repressed the sense of God and of the transcendent. The entire realm of religion, faith and God, the domain of spirituality, is banished from everyday life or marginalised. Our spiritual side has been repressed. This is the new neurosis of our time. This is our deep wound, the Holy Father said. All kinds of repression are bad for us psychologically, but to repress our spiritual side is quite damaging. Unlike Jesus and the apostles, perhaps we cannot go away to spend some lonely place to some lonely place. But God is everywhere, and a quiet time spent with him is not beyond the bounds of possibility for even the busiest person. As always, of course, the choice is ours. Thank you for listening, and God bless you all. Oh.